Hello, I'm Christine Chapman, the Chair of the Children and Young People Committee. Um, our committee has been looking at the implementation of the Welsh Government's Learning and Skills Measure, which was introduced in 2009 to give 14 to 19 year olds more choices on the courses they can do. Now this is the first piece of Welsh legislation to be examined by a committee to assess how successful its implementation has been. As part of our inquiry, the committee consulted young people across Wales to find out what they thought of the opportunities they had. Some people were concerned about the costs and the distance they had to travel to attend the courses of their choice. Other young people could not find the, the course they wanted in the, the Welsh language and some were unaware that they could have had more support in making their choices. Now as a committee we are therefore recommending that the, the Welsh Government examines whether the right balance has been struck in the requirement to offer 30 courses. Travel and transport to the courses are clearly issues for the young people we spoke to and we would like to see how much travelling is required for pupils to attend their courses and the effect that that is having on their effectiveness. We were also concerned that not all young people and their parents or guardians were able to access full, open and impartial advice on the learning opportunities and choice of courses available in their area. And we have asked the, the Welsh Government to issue guidance requiring all schools and colleges to produce a joint prospectus containing that impartial advice. The committee welcomes any new developments that tackle gender stereotypes and that provide opportunities for girls and boys to choose a wider range of vocational and academic courses. It's also important that the, the Welsh Government now reviews the impact of the measure's implementation, particularly with regards to Welsh medium and bilingual education. We have now published our report that contains 10 recommendations and look forward to receiving the government's response. I felt strong and passionate in the um, uh, lessons in the la uh, Welsh language that weren't available for me in, in my area, as in um, I wanted to do politics but it wasn't av uh, available in my area in the in Welsh language. Someone from the Eirith came in to talk about it and we went through the question questions we had to ask, so that helped us because we knew what was going to come up so we could prepare. I helped them because um, in the report it shows that they put the Welsh language option, they thought strong over that, and I said so um, about the my, my, my chance I can have to in politics in the Welsh language. I think the um, concentrators have changed my view on the um, assembly, but because I, uh, before I wasn't very sure if they involved um, pupils with what was happening to them, but now I can see they want um, their opinion on it, so which helps us on them. The National Assembly for Wales is the democratically elected body that represents the interests of Wales and its people, makes laws for Wales and holds the Welsh Government to account. For more information and to find out who represents you, go to assemblywales.org or follow us on Facebook and Twitter.